It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to be reasoning with ratios as we adapt a cookie recipe. Here's our question today. This question has two parts. A cookie recipe requires the following ingredients. One half cup of butter, three cups of flour, two cups of sugar, and we know that a chef will make several batches of cookies using the recipe. Here's part A. Complete the statement about the ratios of the ingredients in the recipe. Then we're going to drag and drop an ingredient into each box. Each ingredient may be used once or not at all. There are four cups of butter, flour, or sugar for every one cup of butter, flour, or sugar. Here's where I have you pause the video, do your best work, and then come back to see mine. Welcome back. So we're going to identify the recipe. We're going to make it so that there's four cups of one of these three ingredients for every one cup of another. So we're talking about a proportional relationship because when we look at this recipe, if we're going to double one ingredient, we need to double all the ingredients or we change the flavor profile. So Using my mathematical reasoning, I see that we got four cups right here. So we have to identify we're going to have four cups of butter, four cups of flour, or four cups of sugar. And each ingredient can be used once or not at all. So I know once I identify the four cups that I won't use that again. So if I look at my ingredients, the easiest one of these to turn to four cups would be the sugar. So if I double the sugar, which means I'm going to multiply two cups of sugar by two to double it. That will be four cups of sugar. So that satisfies this. So if I have four cups of sugar, what's going to change to one cup? Is there something else that I double in the ingredient list that would give me one cup? And I notice a half a cup of butter. If I double one half a cup of butter, which is multiplying it by two, I get one cup. A half a cup plus a half a cup is one cup. So now I can identify that if I'm going to have four cups of sugar, I'm going to need one cup of butter. All right, let's move on to part B. We have the same recipe, and part B says to complete the statement about the ratios of the ingredients in the recipe. We're going to drag and drop an ingredient into each box. Each ingredient may be used once or not at all. So we have butter, flour, and sugar, just like part A. However, now we're told that there are three halves cups of blank for every one cup of blank. So here's where you pause the video and decide how you're going to alter the recipe, but not change the flavor profile, determining which of these are butter, flour, or sugar. Go ahead and pause. Do your best work and then come back to see mine. Welcome back. So this one seems a little trickier. We're looking at three halves cups. The only fraction that we have in our recipe, right? So we have three halves cups to one cup. The only fraction we have in our recipe is this half cup of butter. I can see that three halves cups means I would multiply butter by three. If I do that, I get three halves. However, when I look at tripling, multiplying by three is to triple it, if I multiply three cups of flour by three, I get nine cups. That's not going to give me one. And if I multiply two cups of sugar by three, tripling it, that's going to give me six cups of sugar, not one. So we can eliminate that thought. We're not going to do that to the butter. So let's clear that workspace. So now we're going to go back and we're going to look at the next ingredient. Three cups of flour. So if I divide three by two, that becomes a fraction. Three divided by two cups of flour. One and a half cups is half of three. So dividing by two is finding a half. So I see I have three halves cups of flour. So what else could I divide by two so that I have one cup? If I do two cups of sugar and I divide by two, I have it, I get one. 2 divided by 2 is 1, 1 cup of sugar. So I can see that if I'm going to use this recipe and I'm going to have 3 halves cups of flour for every 1 cup of sugar. And there you have it. 
That is how we reason with ratios to adapt a recipe. We can double it or we can have it. And that's the magic of math, where we master math one video at a time. I thank you for joining me today, and I hope you come back soon.